Heaven's only light is so sweet. Heaven's only light. Ah, damn it. Ah. Oh. Heaven's only light is so sweet. Ah, jeez. Oh my God. Come on, girls. Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh my soul. All right. I'll see you all later. God. I can't believe you, all of you did that. I'll get you all back one day. Mark my words, I'll be visiting Helheim just to get all the cold into your doorstep. Never mind the accent I'm using, I'm gonna take you all back one day. How's it going, everybody? There ah, jeez! Stop! Stop! You in, you're in it as well? Come on, all of you! Just go, I'm recording! Oh! Stop laughing, just go! Since when did these two universes start working together? How's it going everybody? There are two mini raptors here and welcome back to Sonic and Elsa Racing Transform. Last time we have beaten the Emerald Cup, played as Wreck-It Ralph, now we're going to be doing the Arcade Cup. So, before we start the Arcade Cup, comment down below, again, if you want me in the next video to do the Classic Cup. If you do, that means the next video will be the final video. Like I said, I won't be doing the mirrored versions because, you know, they're essentially just... They're mirrored versions of what we've done, so let's just stick to the main course, shall we? Okay, so Arcade Cup, Expert Mode, because I'm an expert. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, who are we gonna play as, honestly? I do not know. Who shall we play as? Who shall entertain us in this time of need? Beat? You know... You know, we haven't played much of Beat, actually. You always play as Beat. You know, I haven't played much of Beat, to be honest. Actually, you know, that reminds me... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it just reminds me. I just can't get the tip of my tongue. What was it? Remember the story I told you all in an earlier episode of this game? Oh, wow. His his vehicle actually looks kind of cool. I think about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so remember I told you all earlier an incident that happened in the Sega forums? Remember I said that... Before this game came out, I wanted to learn more about this game because I was really excited for this game. So I visited the Sega Forum, which was a first for me. i never been so much social online. And, oh, okay, well, good turns, good turns, good turns, good turns! Oh, God! Oh, wow, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I almost hit the end! Oh, 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 that was a good drifting right there on my part. Anyway, so... Remember the incident I told you where the developers of this game held up a poll in which they asked in which they asked the voters to choose their characters and one of them was Silver the Hedgehog but then the voting got cancelled because one of them cheated and stuff and like that so yeah uh, there was actually another incident that I remember in the Sega forum actually and my god it's actually quite a weird one well not a weird one it's to be honest uh, something that would be expected but still it was a first time for me to experience such things and this actually revolved around a fan who a fan of Beat, to be honest. So, this was during a time when they just announced that Beat was going to be making a comeback to this game. And they just revealed what his uh, car is going to be, or his vehicle. Now, before I, go, con before I continue on, for the record, I while I do like the vehicle that Beat is riding on now, I honestly prefer the vehicle that Beat was on in the previous racing game. Because in the previous racing game, he had more of that, um, you know, that pimp my ride kind of vehicle and it looked kind of cool like it was gold it was a gold bugatti looking car i think and it had like speakers for exhaust pipes and it looked really cool this one it looks moderately cool i'm not saying it's terrible but it's not as cool as the previous one at least to me to me to be honest i still like the vehicle beats is riding right now it looks cool but i would prefer the one from before but anyway Apparently, the fan of Beat here hated this vehicle, the one you're seeing right now. He, he hated it so much that he decided to diss on the developers, making a barrage of hate comments, calling Sega, the developers, Sonic franchise, and everyone nothing but schnitzel heads and douchebag pipes and, you know, your typical, you know, you know what, you know what Call of Duty kid players uh, say when they think they're the best in everything oh my god i stopped ah no why why did you push me to the sides gentle ladies oh no 
Oh, you ruined my schmeep, ladies. That's not good, lads. Come on. Joe, get out of the way. You made me lose a dire's win. Anyway, yeah, he kept on barraging, insulting the developers, honestly, and the Sega staff team, and everyone else, just because he didn't like the new vehicle that Beat is having, which is, which, okay, fine, he doesn't like it, he has his own opinion, sure, but you have to admit, he went far-fetched in his uh, outrage, like, come on, they, they can't please, uh, they can't please everyone, alright, sometimes changes can't be accepted by everyone, but changes have to be made. And I, for one, accept the change. Even though I prefer the previous uh, vehicle, I accept the change. So, yeah. Jeez, man. But still, he kept on barrage. He kept on dissing on all of us. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, since when, I, since when was it my fault? And stuff and like that. And then he kept on blurting out, because you're a fan of Sonic and, uh, and Sonic sucks, Sega sucks. And I'm like, then why are you here? Look at your icon. It's basically Amy Rose. <laughs> and I'm like, what is, what is this? So, we were all laughing, oh my god, uh, I got 6th place, that's a terrible start, but anyway, it was, it was, he just kept on making a barrage of comments, to the point where he actually downright made a forum, another forum, where it based the title is, Sonic and Star Racing Transform Sucks, Mario Kart 8 is the best. And this was funny because, remember, this game was released in 2012. Mario Kart 8 was released in 2014. So we didn't even know of Mario Kart 8's existence yet. It wasn't been officially announced. And yet this person saying, Mario Kart 8 is the best. And what? You know what's so funny? People actually went in that forum and actually approved. They actually approved by saying, Oh, Sonic sucks. Sega sucks. Everything about Sega sucks and like that. And I'm like, then why are you here in the Sega forum? Oh my god, what is this? If you hate something, why do you stick around with it? And the response is, eh, I don't know. I just want to see what they do. And I'm like, what the, the, the? <laughs> If you don't like something, leave them alone. What the, the, just, just screw up. Oh my god, that's one of the reasons why I don't like visiting forums anymore because you honestly I'm being very honest ladies and gentlemen I you see the worst in you you see the worst in people honestly You just absolutely see the worst and my god like that was just insane In fact, I've never I mean I've seen a lot of toxic communities, but I will be honest the Sonic community is is among one of the most toxic communities I've ever seen, to be honest. I've been through the Mario community, I've been through the, whoop, the Call of Duty community, and I've been through the League of Legends community even, and my god, Sonic franchise is one of them, honestly. Up next is Call of Duty, without, now, no doubt about it, uh, basically. But obviously I would say the Sonic franchise is my most is the most toxic community I've ever seen. It's because it's a community I spent most time on. So probably if I were to spend time on other communities, I would probably say that they're worse. And it could be true. But I've never seen so many people talk so much schnitzel just because they don't like one little thing about the game. One little thing. Honestly, just one little thing. I mean, I get it. Fine, you don't like it. It's your opinion. You have... you. There's nothing wrong with not liking a certain part of the game. You have your own opinion. But do you have to downright call schnitzel on these developers just because they don't, you don't like the thing they put in that game? I mean, you can't please everyone. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like, for example, I can't please all of you. And I accept that. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to please everyone to begin with. So to those who actually don't enjoy watching me, well then, that's not my problem anymore. That's yours now. Because you just don't like the stuff that I give. So, yeah, that's not my problem anymore. I'm just simply being myself. If you don't like that, well then, that's still your problem. Ha 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 ha! See? There. I'm neither... I'm neither... I'm neither making such a big problem out of it, but at the same time, I'm not shying away from it. I'm basically speaking my point and blah blah blah. And let's face it, I'm, I'm not bragging, but let's face it, that's... that's right. But no, this person downright... Oh my god, I was laughing the whole way through. Well, not, no, no, not really. I didn't laugh the whole way through. I think I started laughing after, after I started mocking him. Yeah, I was actually mocking him because what he said to the developers was uncool, honestly. It was really uncool. And yeesh, I started mocking him. So I basically asked him to, you know, hey, everyone in the forum, get out, get out. Let him, um, let him talk to me and stuff and like that. Come on, come on, man. You, you can't just say stuff and like that and stuff and like that and stuff and like that. I just kept on you kept on talking to him and stuff and, and blah 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 blah. 
And of course, and of course, he starts blurting out rage. I don't like it, da, 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 da. all capital letters and stuff and like that. Oh, oh, jeez, wow. And then I decide to annoy him. This is the part where I decide to mock him because he was saying, "Why do you even like this game, man? I mean." The developers even said that this game's not gonna be so good because of the fact that you know it's not, it's it's gonna the performance gonna be different on, on other consoles and stuff and like that. Nah, 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 nah. And so I made them mad by basically asking the developers publicly, is it is it not gonna be as good on the 360 or PS3 or the, compared to the PC and blah 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 blah. And of course the developers' answer was like, we cannot guarantee that all consoles will be the same in terms of performance and stuff and like that. But we will try our best to give the most uh, optimal performance for each and every console and stuff and like that and da 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 which is a very reasonable and good answer so good on them but no the next comment I get from this kid was <laughs> why, are you, why are you basically asking them they, they, of course they're gonna say this is a good game and da 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 you stop and I just sit down there going like ha 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 oh my god whoo wow this is raw footage my lads and that's one of the reasons why I don't like going to the forum anymore. I mean, I seen I, the only community that I would be listening to, is my own community, which is basically this YouTube channel. That's the only community I'd be listening to. I would only give like tiny hints and ears to other communities from time to time just to know what's going on, because you know sometimes the developers like to reveal some stuff personally to the forum audience only. So I would just lend an ear, as sometimes you know like eavesdrop. But never fully invest on those communities anymore because they are such a toxic group. Regardless if it's Sonic or not, one of them is Sonic the Hedgehog. And we all know that, let's admit it, the Sonic the Hedgehog community is a toxic community, let's admit that. But also every other community, uh, Call of Duty, uh, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, oh my soul, people just can't. People just can't, okay, they can't agree on each other, okay, that's one thing, you can't agree on everything. But it's another thing to just diss on other people just because they can't agree on each other. You have a different opinion than me? Whoa, I suddenly hate you now! Come on! I have many friends who have totally different opinions about me in certain situations, I'm still their friend. What the hell? Because I accept their opinion, I mean, come on man, that, that's, that's their, that's, what, that's the way they think. So I, I just I just shut my mouth and go like, hey, it's fine, you know? It's not hurting me personally, honestly. I mean, if you think differently, that's fine. So, because uh, the friend I'm referring to is uh, because he personally doesn't like ghosts. Which is weird, because um, I am one of them, kind of. I don't know, I, I, again, I still don't know what I am, but let's face it, I look like a ghost. So, on, so he was talking to me about how he hates ghosts and stuff and like that. And honestly, I can't say no against him, because he's like... You have your reasons, you have your reasons, and something like that. I also gave my argument that not all ghosts and stuff like that, and he said, yes, that is true. Because I met you. You are basic proof that not all ghosts are mean, are bad people, and stuff like that. So I will accept that. But that still won't derive me with the fact that, you know, I, I just don't like ghosts. Because they think that just because they're out of this world now, they could handle whatever they want in the living it's stalking me I mean look what they did look what they did blah 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 to my family and stuff and like that is what he was telling me and I was like you know what I can't I can't say anything against that because you had a personal experience that was pretty tough so I would understand your reason for hating ghosts and something like that so honest so uh, he has a different opinion and yet we're still friends in the end so screw off man screw off but still god damn it I hit twice no ah, I got hit many times ah Oh my god, this is getting terrible. Oh, I even forgot what I what uh, what place I got last time. Oh no, this is bad. I honestly don't like this level. I honestly don't like it. Because be, because the area is so small. Look how small the corners. Look how small the level design is. There's little room to grow. Ah jeez. If you realize by now, I hate it when when levels are extremely linear, like completely linear. And that's I think that's part of my beef with, with uh, I think with Sonic Forces. I mean, granted, Sonic Forces does a lot of improvements compared to Sonic Generations, the like colors as well. But let's also admit it. Despite Sonic Forces getting a lot of improvements, there were also a lot of things they didn't improve or they downgraded upon. One of which is the level design, to be honest. 
I feel like the this, the level, the way how the levels are designed in Sonic Forces have been just you know put up together just for a k just for the sake of platforming. In Sonic Generations, the design of the levels were much better because you feel like oh we are actually ter terraining across a world. You know, it felt like yeah this 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 is how the world could be, and I'm actually crossing it. So it felt like I'm actually part of the world. But in Sonic Forces. It, it didn't feel the platforming didn't feel that natural. Come on! Oh, metal bastards! Come on! Really? Oh, I could have gone second place, Metal Sonic, you schmeep. Oh. Anyway, I still got third place still. So yeah, that's my beef with Sonic Forces. And a tiny bit of faith. No, Metal Sonic's winning. No, I cannot allow this might. Ah. Oh no. Oh no, this is very bad. Ah! This is very bad. Oh, I have to do really well. I have to make sure that Melo Sonic does not get at least second or or third place in the next race. And I have to be first, guarantee. Alright, here we go. Oh no, this puts a high stakes on my gander. But yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, that was the thing, uh, I, my little beef with Sonic Forces. That the level design wasn't as creative. I'm gonna skip this part immediately because I remember getting copyright for just showing that. Uh... Go! Alright, so yeah, that's my beef with Sonic Forces, to be honest. You may have noticed that uh, I have always been, whenever I talk and whenever I explain something, you may have noticed that I always repeat myself countless times, like two to three times! What the shit has happened?! Okay, that was a downer. I'm in 10th place now, I'm in last place. This is not good, but we can make up for lost time! You may have noticed that I keep on repeating myself when I try to explain a point. My own personal opinions and my own points. You may have noticed that I kept on repeating myself all the time. The reason why I do that is because I lived in an environment where English is not the mother tongue. So, and I'm like one of the few people within that community that speak avid English. So, whenever I speak, they always ask me twice. They always ask me to repeat myself because I just couldn't understand my articulation in English. And so I've gotten used to the fact of repeating myself every time I speak to point out my point twice all the time. That is why you may have noticed that my that my talking sessions are longer and much more repetitive because I've developed the habit of always repeating myself in my opinions and what I want to say because I'm always now under the assumption that whenever I put out a point you would not get it the first time, and honestly, I am still finding that I'm still finding it in this in the uh, in this uh, YouTube channel to this day. To be honest, yeah, there are some of you who thought I said this, but in truth, I actually said something else, and so that is why I always have to re-reevaluate and reaffirm what I said, so that you guys won't get the wrong idea all the time. Because still, to this day, I still uh, encounter a lot of people who just get the wrong idea with what I say. So now I keep on repeating myself over and over again. That's why I always do summaries of what I just said. So just to, just to summarize what I said, um, I'm going to be doing this from now on if, uh, if there is face cam, and this from now on if I don't do face cam, blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual drift. That's why I keep on repeating myself. So sorry to everyone who gets tired of me always repeating myself with my points. Because... Like I said, I see I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm saying because and I'm gonna point out the reason again. Yeah, see? So just excuse just let it be. Ugh. Ah take also note in the fact that I'm not much of a social speaker. Remember, I only became much more social because of this YouTube business. When I became more social with you, ladies and gentlemen, through my practice of always speaking in this YouTube business over the years of me being in YouTube, I have developed more of a habit of speaking out in terms now, honestly. I mean, if you watched my earliest videos, I mean like from the very beginning when I was still uploading Call of Duty Exo Zombies videos, you saw it in my 100,000 subscriber special video that uh, I was, my, I sounded basically like this. How's it going everybody? There are too many raptors here. Oh no, I didn't say there are too many raptors. I still was saying my name is too many raptors. So I was like, how's it going everybody? My name is too many raptors here. And today we're gonna be playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Exo Zombies. Yeah. So this will be the first time I will be speaking in this YouTube 
channel. And I was like that because I wasn't so used to talking. That's how I used to talk before, ladies and gentlemen. I was really more of like that. Yeah. <laughs> but now, because of this YouTube business and because of my growing intensity of what I am, I, I, I became much more of an avid speaker. But my problems of speaking are still present. Like, for example, I stutter when I speak. I articulate less often when I speak. No! Go, 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 go! Please don't let them be behind me. Okay, good. They're not behind me. So, I... I, I still stutter. I still have I still have speaking problems because I'm I'm still not fully used to speaking. But compared to how I was way before YouTube, I could say I'm definitely better now at speaking in terms. And that's why I'm using this now, these times, to just speak out uh, my experiences and just talk and talk and talk. Because that's when I realized that hey, it's cathartic to just talk, man. It's really amazing. And I'm done. All right. I should definitely win this one. I hope. I hope. Come on, give me, give me that sweet Summer Sanders. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and he fell. Wow. Even the computer that makes mistakes, see? And now, whoa! Me and Metal Sonic had the same points, but I won just because I beat the stage faster. All right, well, that was a near close call. I was about to be beaten by Metal Sonic. So yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, let's watch this uh, very underrated, uh, this very, this very lackluster victory scenario. I really do hope that in Supersonic Racing, when you win a when you win a, a Grand Prix or something, if there is going to be a Grand Prix, there will be. There should be Grand Prix in any racing game. But oh, look at Beat doing the beat. Yeah, drop those moves, Beat. So I hope that the victory, the victory sessions would be much better than this. To be honest, I was a little, I was really a little disappointed with these victory moments in, uh, in this game. Because in the previous game, like I said before, it had full blown amazingness of I've gotta be. I've gotta be... You got a trophy. Like, it's amazing. Anyway, so that was the Arcade Cup. I played as Beat, and I've beaten Arcade Cup. So, I'm gonna end this video right here. So, again, comment down below if you want me to make one more video of Classic Cup, and I'll gladly do so. Other than that, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Bye-bye! <laughs>